wanted to show you how I've just calibrated my Leica M3 rangefinder camera. And this is a person that's got zero DIY skills and has had this camera for seven years, I think, along with other M cameras. And I've all sent them off for calibration. But I just kind of had a light bulb moment today and it worked. <laughs> I'm really, really happy. And it's like 10.30 at night and I've just decided to make this video. Hi guys, Matt Osborne here from MrLeica.com. Slightly different video for you today. So let me just quickly explain for those of you that are new to M cameras, I'll be really quick. So when you look through the viewfinder, you see the rangefinder patch and you've got horizontal alignment this way and you've got vertical alignment this way. You need to adjust these separately. So to adjust the horizontal patch, basically to make sure the two boxes line up side to side, you need to turn that screw there and you only need to turn it a tiny, tiny amount and then basically put a lens on. So what I was doing is I'd test it I'd move it a bit, put a lens on, a pick a like lens ideally or something that you know is calibrated. Attach the lens to the camera, point it at something at 0.7 meters. This M3 is adjusted so it is accurate at 0.7 meters. Put the lens on, set the lens to 0.7 meters and then basically just keep working it. So you, take, you put the lens on, check it, it might be slightly to the left or slightly to the right. You then move this to the left or to the right, repeat and you keep doing that until your horizontal alignment is adjusted. I've known this for a couple of years and that's reasonably easy to do. What I've never done before and what's made me excited today, I guess I get excited easily, is I wanted to adjust the vertical uh, alignment. The image you see through the viewfinder was just above where it should have been, so it wasn't overlapping exactly. So I did a bit of googling. When I saw the screw that would be here, let me show you my M2 one second. You'll see what this is in a second. So here's my M2. Very similar to the M3, slightly more tatty. So I knew that the vertical alignment was behind this area. So I did a quick Google and sure enough, if you remove this screw, you can get to the vertical alignment of the rangefinder. So if we go back to the M3, so basically I used a small flathead screwdriver, took off the small screw head or kind of little patch. And then behind it is this. And that is what you need to adjust your vertical alignment so then i just did first of all it wouldn't turn at all so you can see there's a bit of residue here i sprayed a bit of lighter fluid onto the um the screw head waited for like 30 seconds and then it, it allowed me to move it and you only need to move it a tiny tiny amount it was like vertical and it's just off vertical and it's absolutely perfect now i've just tested it as i say with the summer looks and it works so <laughs> i'm so excited i can now calibrate my own like M cameras so this is like a massive game changer that saves both money but also time because if you send cameras away for a service and calibration and things there's such a big waiting list now it, your camera's away for like a month just to get calibrated which is a pain that's my other home DIY fix that's me fixing the hole in the shutter I did that myself as well so I'm getting slightly very slightly better <laughs> Let me put this back on quickly and then I can show you. I wanted to leave it off until I'd done the video so you could see behind the screw. Now there's good news and there's bad news. The, typical man, I can't more just ask. Um, the good news and bad news. The good news is you can do this type of adjustment for the like M3 as seen here, proof. You can do a like M2 because the like M2 is exactly the same screw in the same place. And there's your horizontal adjustment as well, if you can see see there. So the light's a bit rubbish. There you can see the screw head. So M2, okay. M3, okay. M4P, screw head. And the screw head underneath, so that's okay. So we can do all those three cameras in exactly the same method. The bad news is for all you M6 shooters, the M6 was designed so you've got the Leica logo over the hole that you would normally use to adjust your rangefinder. So now this is much more of a faff. You have to basically peel off the Leica sticker to get to the hole behind to adjust your rangefinder. You can adjust the horizontal adjustment exactly the same inside. So the horizontal adjustment is really easy to do. But the um, the vertical, you need to take the patch off, uh, the, the red logo. And then with an M240, again, it's not as easy. The M240 has got an Allen key fitting on the inside so you need to use something like this rather than like a flat head um, so i've not managed to do my m240 vertical 
but I have done the M2. I've done the M3, and the M2 looked like it was okay, and the M4P looks like it's okay. So now, with this knowledge, you'll be able to repair your own M2, M3, M4P if they're out of calibration. And that was my biggest kind of complaint with the like M cameras compared to say like R cameras that I also use. In that, if you knock like M camera, you will knock the the adjustment, uh, meaning that when you then take pictures, it'll be out of alignment and you'll be your photos won't be sharp. So very quick video. Um, I hope you found it useful. Hit the like button and I'll maybe do a few more of these mini useful, less polished videos going forward. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good evening. Speak soon. Bye.